Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this will be a very different video from the ones you guys are used to seeing from me. It is not a wax video. What? So most of you don't know this about me, but I do have other obsessions, which includes nail polish, makeup, um, wax, of course. But what a lot of people don't know is that I am extremely obsessed with perfumes. Um, and not body spray, perfumes. So I do have quite, eh, I think it's a large collection. I think it's a little bit sick. But I wanted to share it with you guys because it's um, one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. I'm always watching people's perfume collection. I need to redo my closet. I need to find a perfect, beautiful, maybe glass shell that I can store them so I can look at them every time I walk in there. But anyways, um, maybe that's a little hint for the hubby because he likes to do things with his hands. Let me show, I figured I'd show you guys my perfume. So, um, the first one, I think the first perfume I ever really received, and sorry, some of them are pretty old. So, um, and perfume don't really, the color might change. In, inside the bottle um, but the fragrance really stays the same what will change the most is sometimes um, it will evapor evaporate from the bottle but this one I've had forever and you're gonna be able to tell by the look of the top which it looks terrible it's like oxidation or something but this was a gift from my father and I think this must be the third or the fourth bottle of this perfume. It's kind of become a tradition. My father gives it to me every year. He hasn't in the past three years because I still have this tiny little bit. So he gives me other ones that I don't have. But it's beautiful from Estee Lauder. Lauder? Is that how you say it? Estee Lauder. But um, my dad gave this to me when I was just a teenager, which... At first, I was like, this is a very mature scent. It really is, but I loved it. And I don't know if you guys know this about, well, you probably do, about perfume, is it works so different in everyone else's um, skin. And every time I wear this, everybody complimented on how great I smell. So I love it. This just brings back so much memories. And it just reminds me of my father since he's the one who gave it to me. So it's beautiful. All of you that like strong, more mature, womanly scent, you should try this because I think you'll like it. So that was like my first obsession. So that's all my father's fault. Then I love this one so much that I have three backups. I only brought one. Um, one of them and then the backup soon. It's J'adore by Dior. So this is the backup. And I have another one in a box as well. Sick, I know, I know. I'm always worried that they're going to stop making these doughs. So here, this is what it looks like. It's J'adore Dior. It's so pretty. It's the prettiest bottle ever. And this is such a girly scent, but it smells expensive. I'm going to spray this stuff on me so I can tell you guys about it. I'm going to smell like so many different perfumes by the end of, this, end of this video. And I hope you guys like this video. And if you, um, it's so cute too. It says Christian Dior on the top. Can you see that? Um, I want to see your, if you guys like perfumes like me, I want to see your perfume collection. Please attach, attach, whatever. Send a video request acceptance to me. I would love to see them because I'm always looking for these videos. So this is just a very beautiful, girly, but also womanly, it's not for a young girl, perfume. It's just sexy scent. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. So J'adore Dior. Ah, my beautiful. Okay, let's pick that up. Um, I've got two tiny ones. I'll tell you guys. Well, three. This one my mom gave to me. It's a juicy. I don't know which one. But it's got the cutest... Oops. It smells like candy. 
It's but it's juicy couture. It's so tiny. Look at that bottle. That's why I like perfumes. I love the bottles. Okay, then from Juicy as well, I have this rollerball, which I got when I was a member of Birchbox. And no Birchbox didn't send this on their box because they only sent crap on their box. But they sent a trial and I loved it and I got it with my points. This one is Viva La Juicy on one side. So this side is Viva La Juicy. And the other side is Viva La Juicy La Flor, which is the one I got the sample from. And every time I wanted to buy this, it was sold out. I really, really like this. And I love these because you can put them in your purse and just carry them with you. But you go through them so fast. Like, look, I'm almost done with mine. So I've got that. Um, and... From Marc Jacobs, I got Dot. This was part of a set that my brother gave me for Christmas. So I'll show you the perfume in a minute. But it came with a rollerball, so I love these, like I said. And I love the Marc Jacobs perfume. I think I might be close to owning all of them. I know. Sticking with Juicy, I've got this one, which was a gift from my sister. And this is Peace, Love, and Juicy Couture, and it's a 50 ml. And I have the original Juicy, but I've used it all up. And that is my favorite out of all of them. Um, the original Juicy is... It's so hard to explain these scents. Okay, I told you I'm going to smell like a million different... This is more floral, I would say. Still a beautiful scent. Beautiful, fresh scent. Um... Almost like a floral fresh, if that makes any sense. But I love their bottles. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. It's beautiful. It's an obsession. My sister gave me this one. I don't know how I feel. I love it, Marcia. <laughs> um, this is from Justin Bieber. It's called Someday. It's a very cute bottle, I'll tell you that. Look, it's got the lock in the key and it's the flower it's very sweet exactly what I think Justin Bieber would like his girls to smell like sweet like candy so thank you this is from my sissy it's a beautiful bottle um, I'll show you some of the ones I've got three that are from Brazil this one was given to me by my grandmother many years ago, and this is from a brand um, in Brazil. I think it's called Natura. It's like very nature, almost like our lush, and that's what it looks like. And I've I've used quite a lot of it actually. And I'm gonna stop spraying these things because, well, yeah, this smells very. Very pretty, like very woodsy and musky and just, I don't know, very, very liberating. <laughs> and these three are from the same company. I love this company in Brazil. This is called O Boticario. And the, the very, very popular perfume company in Brazil, almost like an apothecary type. And this is their signature fragrance is called agua fresca which means like fresh water so all of their bottles look the same um the tops might be different but this is the best scent i have ever smelled like i've never had a perfume that smells like this talk about feminine and beautiful and womanly but fresh like this is the type of perfume you want to put on after you've taken a shower and I bet there's not one person that's not going to comment on how clean and just wonderful you smell I love this I use it very very little because I've got to travel all the way to Brazil to buy it and I will be going there um, on April 29th for two weeks so I will come back with lots of perfumes from the same company, this one's called Lavanda Pop, which this one is more, um, it's used more by the teenagers, I would think. It's very girly. Yeah, um, it smells like lavender, like 
fresh lavender, like real lavender. It's very good. Mm. Also, another fresh, like they have a lot of really fresh smelling scents. And then last one from them, it's called Tachi. And this one I've not used that my mom brought it for me when she went to Brazil last year. Because I had another one and I gave it to my best friend when she helped me move. Because she's a sweetheart and this is her favorite perfume. This is also very, very fresh, but more... Mm. It's almost, to me, this almost smells like a mix of both of these. It's got some lavender in it, but it's got that womanly, um, girly scent, which is also very fresh. So I love this one. And as you can tell, I don't use them very much because you know why. So this one, this poor thing looks like it's been through hell and back. Let me see if I can clean it up a little bit. It's so full of dust. Uh, I need to find a better way to store my perfume, especially this one. This one means so much. This one, I'm telling you. I need to gra grab like a baby wipe and clean it. There's no way I can get this clean, but I'll show it to you guys. I've had this perfume for at least 20 years. My mother bought this in Europe when she went to France. And this one is called Lulu. Lulu, it sounds so frou free. And it's by Chacarel, Cacharel. I have no idea. I know it's a very, very fancy French company. So it's Lulu, Eau de Parfum, and blah, blah, blah. So this is 50 ml. And this little baby is still completely full. You take this out. You're supposed to do this. Right? When you want to use it. And then it has this little thing that you just go like this. <laughs> do you see how fancy? My mother bought this in Friends. And she came back. I was probably, I was a little child. Um, and... I remember I used to watch her doing this because she would do it like that and then do it like this. And for many years, I mean, this thing lasted forever. It's still pretty much full. And when I became a teenager, I asked her, I said, Mommy, you've had that for so long. You're never going to finish. Can I have it? We need to pass it down like a tradition. <laughs> so I convinced her and she gave it to me. And it's literally, I bet you, it's up to here still. Um... So it's mine now, and by the way it's going, that it just lasts forever, I'm thinking I'll pass it down to my daughter, but it's, it's at least 20 years old, I'm 31, it's at least 20 years old, um, I've had it for at least 20 years, so I don't know how long my mom's had it, and it smells the same, it's super strong, this is a very very fancy smelling scent it smells fancy it smells expensive so I don't use that very much if I can be honest with you then I have my mother gave me this one Burberry touch it's a small bottle it's probably a 50 ml 30 ml so it's a small bottle because Burberry is very pricey but this is really good. It's more of a... F <sighs> it's definitely fresh. Fresh scent. It smells really good. And that's a beautiful wooden top. It's just like solid wood. So that's that. I have DKNY Green Apple. Barely ever, ever used. It's good. It smells like a green apple. It's not my favorite. I don't see myself ever finishing this. I just bought it because of the bottle. This was also a gift from my mother. This is Prada. And this one, I love this one. This is super duper fresh. Mm, perfect. Perfect for like if you take an afternoon shower and you spray this on, you get a smell like clean <laughs> it's not really good then I've got this one was totally purchased by mistake by me I was at Ross and I wanted to buy 
the Sarah Jessica Parker perfume because my friend wears it and I'm always complimenting her on it. And I saw Jessica and I grabbed it and it was actually Jessica Simpson. <laughs> it's called Fancy. It's got butterflies all around it. But it's really pretty. Very, very sweet. Like sugary candy. But I like it. I still am looking for the Sarah Jessica Parker perfume, so hopefully one day I will find it. Um, okay. I've got a Chanel number no. 5, and this buddy has been through some rough times because I keep it in my bag, so it's like the labels ripped up apart. Um, yeah, the poor cap got like loose. But this smells so good. I love Chanel Number no. 5. It is definitely a mature scent. It does not smell like little high school girls. It smells like a woman scent. But I love it. Always have loved it. Even when I was in high school. I've always liked mature scent. Like I remember in high school, aside from the beautiful, I used to wear a lot of Tresor, I think it's called, from Lancome, which is a very womanly scent. And my husband loves it. Every time I wear I need to buy some because I haven't had it in a couple of years. Every time I wear that, he says, oh my God, it reminds me of you in high school. I'm like, it's a grandma scent, but I love it. This smells, okay, Chanel number no. five. Anybody who likes mature, beautiful, present, strong scent. I mean, this is the type of scent that people will recognize and they'll be like, are you wearing Chanel? It's one of those scents, like my mother's scent is Coco Chanel, like the Coco Chanel. And everybody, I can't wear Coco Chanel. I have another version of it, which I tell you guys, which was a gift for my mom um, this past Christmas, but it's different. I cannot wear the Coco Chanel because it just reminds me of her. It's like I'm her and it's just weird. It's her scent. So, since we are on the Chanel, this is my baby. This is my new baby. This is Coco Chanel Noir. And this one, I love. See, it comes with a pretty little thing. I've used it already, but I've decided with my new perfumes, I'm going to keep them in their bottles. I mean, in their box, just to keep them away from direct sunlight so it doesn't change the color. Because, let's face it, I'm not going to finish these anytime soon. So... This was my Christmas present for my mommy. Or was that my birthday present? I don't know. Birthday and Christmas are like the same week. So I think it was, I think it was Christmas, yes. This is Coco Chanel Noir. I love this. And this is in the 100 ml. I love this. Just such a beautiful bottle. What drives me nuts is that I don't know like how much is left in here that's gonna drive me nuts I can tell I'm gonna need like backups of this because I love the scent oh my god this is the same thing Chanel has very and it's probably because their stuff is very pricey um they have these very strong woman scents they don't they definitely don't have little teeny bopper scents um this is just so beautiful and sexy and womanly and this is one of those that a little goes a long way I usually just spray once in the wrists and go like this and I might even go like that because it's strong and people will smell me coming from miles and miles away so a little goes a long way plus you don't want to go around spraying the heck out of this because these are well over a hundred bucks for a bottle like this so thank you mommy I love it I I protect it and it's protector case it's so sad I talked to my perfume bottle let's put it back in its case there you go now it's all protected okay so my other obsession oh I haven't finished I'll wait to, for these for last We'll go together. Okay, so I also have new that I got in New York. It's Coach Poppy. I think it's called Coach Poppy. Yeah. See, so I'm going to leave them in the box, like I said. But I'll pull it out for you guys. This is very girly. I like it. 
really really like it look at how pretty it is um Husband's gonna kick me out of the room when I go in there. See, I smell like a skunk. Ah, I can't push this. Oh, great. At least it was at Macy's. Now I can push it. Mmm, this is really good. I am obsessed. Nice, clean, girly. They're all girly. Hello, I'm a girl. Um. Nice, clean, girly, but at, it's still pretty sweet. It's a great scent. So, Coach Poppy. Um, unbelievable. Love it, love it. Then, I also got the same New York. Ooh, Miss Dior Cherie. Cherie. Miss Dior Cherie. This, like, the salesperson practically had to, like, shove it down my throat. But I'm so glad I listened because I got home and I started spraying this around and I freaking love it. So Miss Dior Shahi. It's the prettiest bottle ever, first of all, and I'm obsessed with bottles. Look at that. You've got a cute little square top with the bow. And this is very, very feminine. Very sweet. Like sugary, sugary sweet. I... Love Miss Dior Shehi. I'm glad that I bought it. So let's put it back in its little protector shell. And then, this is my main obsession. Oh, oh my god, I need to like dust these more often. My main obsession when it comes to perfume. I am obsessed with Chanel, Christian Dior. And Marc Jacobs. I freaking love Marc Jacobs. So I have, this was a gift last Christmas from the hubby, Lola, by Marc Jacobs. I think it's mostly because he has the fanciest bottles ever. And I love fancy bottles. So this is Lola, which is honestly... My least favorite of all of his perfume, but this bottle is so fabulous to the point that I have considered buying Olola, which is even probably going to be my least least favorite because it's supposed to be very floral. But how can you say no to something like this? So, um, yeah, if you like floral scents, it's almost like in my nose, if you like floral, if you like floral scents, You'll like this one. It's very floral and very pretty. So I've got Lola. Um, this was also a gift from the Hubs. This is one of my favorite from Marc Jacobs. This is Daisy. Daisy Oh So Fresh. So it's not the Daisy Daisy. It's the Oh So Fresh. Look at how pretty this is. Like, come on. This is so freaking cute. How can you not love it? This is a very fresh. It's still floral, but it's fresh floral. I love it. Mm, as you can tell, because I've used quite a lot of this. It's pretty impressive. So I love, 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 love his bottles. His bottles are so fancy. Um, this one, my mom got it for me. This one was impossible to find. I think it's the original Marc Jacobs. And it smells like gardenia. And if you guys have followed me on Facebook for a long time, you know that I am obsessed with gardenia. So my mom found it. I couldn't find it anywhere. It's the most expensive perfume he has. Um, it's the original Marc Jacobs. So she got it for me at Macy's last Christmas. And I use it very sparingly because it's not a cheap one. And I just adore it. Adore it. So. And this is called just Marc Jacobs. It's Marc Jacobs. Black. Not black. Just Marc Jacobs. Can you all see it? Me. Okay. Thank you, Mommy, again. So the newest addition to the Marc Jacobs family was given to me by my little brother, Thank you so much, Louis, and um, I love it. It's so beautiful. 
it's called and it was um my christmas present for my brother he gave me the big set with there's two lotions the roller ball and the big the big bottle of perfume which is the 100 ml look it's dot by mark Jacobs. i'm telling you he's got some of the fanciest bottles ever look at how pretty it's a ladybug are you kidding me this is just so there's a new one now that looks just like this, but it's yellow and it's called honey and it smells like honey and I'm gonna buy it. I know it. This is so beautiful. Hmm. It smells like a pretty ladybug. I smell some citrus in it, like girly, fresh, springy, maybe citrus. I don't know, but I love it. But anyways, that is all of my perfume for now. It's gonna continue to grow because I am pretty obsessed. I want to buy like a huge shelf to put inside my closet. That's gonna be maybe like glass, a shelf, so it reflects the from the bottoms under, from the bottles underneath. So it's a project and cause I wanna display all of them and I wanna be able to see them and smell them every time I go in my closet. But that's it, this video is ridiculously long. I love you guys. Please like, comment and subscribe. And please make a perfume um, thingy so I can watch yours, bye.